Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody. Today is Smy World Day. My favorite day of all the days. Um, it's It also happens to be a Saturday, which makes it a good day as well. Um, but we're going to be opening a Smy World Mystery Box. Um, I love my Smy World Mystery Boxes. They are my favorite Mystery Box company. Um, I opened a really mega one a while back. And really enjoyed it. There was a lot of good stuff in there. But they have ones at a variety of different ranges. Some people are like, well, $500 is a lot for a mystery box or $100. This is a little less uh, expensive than some of the other ones. But I've also gotten some really great stuff out of ones that are these $60 mystery boxes. So um, during SmyCon, they had ones all different ranges. They had the really inexpensive one. They had the $60 ones. They had $100 ones. And they had the $500 ones. Um, I really did enjoy trying to go and get... The $500 one, but I'm also glad to have gotten a $60 one. Um, th this one should be a lot of fun. The, there is a minimum value on these, which again, I think is really great for a Smy World to do that. There's at least a $50 value. So you're basically going to get a good portion of your value back when you when you invest in this. This one is called the Middle Ground Showdown Mystery Box. Okay, I gave a little quippy name because it was sort of the mid-range one of, of the different ones. Um, there is a picture. I'll see if I can find it and stick it up in the corner for you. Um, there were a lot of decent stuff. There's like a whole wall of pops that had some decent stuff in there. Uh, it doesn't look that like that big of a box, but a lot of times that's good. Not real heavy. Of course, I try to shake it around listening for that duck. Couldn't find it. They're getting a lot craftier nowadays. They're taping the duck right onto um, the actual packaging. I actually did recently buy some little rubber duckies. Uh, they're a little glow-in-the-dark rubber duckies. This is not ones you get from the, the box, but I thought they'd be good luck. So I'm going to set them right here and uh, rub their little heads for luck. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to crack into this one and take a look at it. But before we do all that, we're going to go ahead and get our jelly beans. Uh-oh, our jelly beans all the way over there. Cameraman, can you grab that? I almost ruined my luck. Almost. You'd think after eating, trying to eat 500, I would know that I don't ever want to eat them again. And it is true, I don't. But... We have a tradition, and who am I to break tradition? So, ooh, let me see if I can scoot this in. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get our stuff. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I don't like those speckly ones, but we got a speckle. It usually means there's debris of other stuff in there. Tastes like orange chicken and vomit. So I'm not sure if it's orange chicken vomit or just some mixed flavor that I'm not too familiar with. I don't like those citrusy ones. It wasn't the worst one I'd ever tasted, but boy, those citrusy ones are hard to taste. All right, let's go ahead and crack into this bad boy, see what we got. Move our little duckies over here. Okay. We'll do is we'll do it mystery box style like we normally do. I'm going to try to carefully cut into it. I'll feel around for hard stacks or plastic uh, protectors or whatever. And um, we'll see what we can find here. Okay. So I usually pack them really, really well, which I always appreciate. Uh, they got them plastic. What do we got? We got four of them in here. I'm not sure. I'll feel around, see what I can find. This one's not in a protector. This one's not in a protector. Oop, this one's not in a protector. Are any of them? Yeah, I got one in protector and three not in protector. All right, so we're going to pull them out one at a time here. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying not to look, but I can't seem to open that. There we go. I got it. All right. What's our first one? I'm going to slide this box back here. Our first one is Tony Stark. Tony Stark. He's cool. I do like Iron Man. I'm not a big fan of this particular one. It does glow in the dark, though. Um, Target exclusive. and But he's kind of, looks like they're wearing jammies. It's like the, the whole outfit at the... I believe it was um, the last Marvel movie that we... The Avengers movie. They are all kind of dressed up in their... I thought it looked like jammies. I don't know. But um, still pretty cool. I don't have it, so it's not it's not a double for me. I, I most likely will hold on to it. Um, it is cool that it glows in the dark as well. I'm not sure if it has some kind of value... Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a damage here on the side. Not too bad, but yeah, not in pristine shape. All right, I'm gonna set this on the floor. It's like it's easier to reach in, won't block my shot at all. All right, let's see what else we can find. 
Again, we'll check our values at the end and see how we did with that. I don't think I don't think that one has much value, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, what do we have next? We got Hades. Oh yes, I was in Hades last week uh, when I was eating those jelly beans. It is a Disney pop. I'm trying to remember what movie it's from. What movie is Hades from? Just say Hercules. I, reading on the back would come in handy. Hercules. It's a little boat on top. These these aren't in the perfect shape. They're not creased, but it's just kind of like it needs to sort of be forced together. Um, so yeah, Hercules. I don't remember this movie. I don't remember. I don't really watch all the the cartoon Disney movies, but yeah, it might be a good one. We'll see. We'll again. We'll check our values towards the end and see what we can come up with. All right. Let's see what's next here. I'll we'll grab. Make sure I grab the yeah, one more in non protector and then another one in protector. All right, we got Captain Salazar. Captain Salazar from Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't remember which one was he. Captain Salazar. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I think he was one of the bad dudes, one of the um, the British generals, um, something like that. Yeah, one of the British captains. Captain Salazar. Hmm. I did wa enjoy watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I don't have any Pirates of the Caribbean pops at all, so. Again, I'm, I'm not sure if these have any kind of value other than basic $10 pops, but maybe, maybe. All right, so let me see these. Let me see if, make sure these are in our shot right over here. All right, one more. This one's in plastic protect, soft protector, so I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure what kind of, so we got pulled up over here, but we'll take a look and see. All right, we got a penny from Walking Dead. She appears to have some uh, some nastiness going on there. It looks like she's a zombie. Um, so I would assume she's one of the bad dudes. So yeah, um, Penny. I never watched um, Walking Dead. I never really could get into it. Um, by the time I started watching it, there was a million episodes, and um, I just I just didn't start watching it. So anyway, so it may have some good value, may not. I don't know. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna. Do a little bit of research on our various pops and see how we did. All right, welcome back. So we did a little bit of research on our various pops here and we got some interesting information. Um, the first one is Captain Salazar. Um, currently it's going for five dollars. So it's a very basic, basic pop. Um, there was a cool chase, but we don't have that. Um, so yeah, five dollar pop. Pretty basic. Usually when you're doing mystery boxes and you find some that are $5, $6, that's a usually a good sign that there's something really great in here. We'll see. Um, the next one is Hades. It's a cool pop, kind of heavy. Um, it's got a lot of detail on it. It's got that going for it. I do have some Disney ones. I may hold on to this one. I haven't decided what I'll do. Um, but it's currently going for $6. So it's not a big seller. It's not doesn't have high value or anything like that. Then we have our Tony Stark. Now, originally, when you bought this, had to buy this one, you had to buy it with a T-shirt. Obviously, we didn't get the T-shirt. We just got the pop. So we did a little bit of research over on Pop Price Guy because Funko App only had it with the shirt. Um, and it's currently going for $9. And as you can see, like I said, only at Target and it's a glow in the dark. So it may be a pretty cool one. Um, but again, I'm not in love with the suit. Um, so anyway, so that's that. So we're basically, so we're at $11 and $9. We're at $20. We've spent $60. So that, does, that scares me a little bit because usually these Walking Dead pops are not super expensive. So we did some research on this one, and it is actually a much older pop than I thought. It's a 2014 vaulted one, okay? Um, so they put it in the plastic for a reason. It's currently going for $49. So that's really great value in a $60 box um, because all they guaranteed you was $50. So basically this was the guaranteed value and these were the other things. So we ended up with about $69 worth of pops. So we did okay. We, you know, all they guaranteed was 50 and we surpassed that. So we actually did reach over the 60, but we certainly didn't break the bank and they aren't exactly the best pops that I've ever seen. So um, I don't know. I'll sort of think about what I'm going to do with some of these, but um, most likely I'll hold on to Tony Stark because it's not very expensive and I do like um, the Avengers pops and I don't have this one. Um, the Hercules one's pretty cool. I'm not too sure about Captain Salazar. Um, and we'll see about Penny. But right now, I'll hold on to Penny and put them in with my collection and, and see what happens in the future. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I, I really do love my Smy World boxes. Sometimes they're real good hit, hits. They're not really a lot of really bad misses. But, um, you know, from time to time, it can vary. 
Um, I appreciate everyone coming to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, you know, become a member of the Barbarian Horde. Uh, go ahead and comment down below which one of the ones did you like. Did you think it was a good box? Um, do you, have you bought from Smy World, etc.? So hopefully those are um, some good ideas of different things we got going on. We're, um, we usually post every other day or so, so keep checking back in with us. Make sure to hit the uh, post notifications so that you can find out what days we're, we're doing our various things. Occasionally we may even go live and do some uh, giveaways and some other things too as well. So thank you very much for coming, and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.